So let's face it, I've always been a nerd, which means that as a kid, I liked reading books a lot. Now, as I got older, one of the things was that I wanted to change my life. And so it was easy for me to pivot from reading, you know, books on meditation and spirituality into reading books on personal development because I was already a pretty big reader. But the problem is when you read books because you want to improve your life, there's a big difference between reading a book and then actually implementing and executing something you've learned from a book. Now in this video, I want to share the strategy I use now to this day for every book I read, exactly how I go from reading the book to turning it into useful daily habits that can change my life. Hey guys, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master of the Day. Now let's quickly introduce you to one of my partners and then we will jump in right to the content. Now the Biomat is a pad you can put on your bed or on the floor, which uses technology that was actually discovered by NASA to help you reduce stress and fatigue. Now it produces negative ions which are considered nature's energizer. And these negative ions you can find in abundance in places like forests and mountains, waterfalls and oceans. Now the Biomat in particular is comprised of three parts that helps you have that stress relief and that fatigue relief. Now the Biomat can also help with pain relief and circulation. It is FDA cleared and one of the cool things is that it profoundly affects both the nervous system while also promoting deep relaxation. So it kind of has this dual energizing and relaxing effect. Also the people at the Biomat store recommend and encourage you to call for personalized customer service and advice. It's kind of unique among companies now that basically don't want to deal with you. So that is worth investigating as well. And like some customers have said, it's really restorative. So a direct quote from one person was that it's the world's greatest power nap. All right, so how do you go from taking a piece of content, whether it's a video or a podcast or a book, and then turning it into something that you actually see change your life? Now, you and I both know that information means almost nothing if you don't do something with it. So the very first step for me here is you grab your book or your podcast or your audiobook, whatever it is, and as you're listening to it or as you're reading it, make little notes in the margin. Now for me, I'm a perfectionist, I'm a weirdo, I like my books to stay looking perfect even after I've read them eight times. So I just use a pencil and I draw a line in the margin or I just put one single black dot, which means that there's something in that paragraph that I liked and it impacted me and I wanna revisit. Now step two is to compile all of these notes when the book is done into Evernote, for example. So I use Evernote because I like being able to search all my previous books that I've gone through for little insights and things that I've been thinking about when that book pops in my head. So what I do is in Evernote, I'm literally such a dork that I make color-coded columns. Try saying that three times fast. And in the left, I put like, what is the main point? And in the right, elaboration, meaning what does this mean? Like, hey, this book says, don't date messed up people. Well, what does that really mean? Messed up people have these key traits and they're gonna mess up your life in this way and make you hate yourself. So basically, you have the two columns. On the left is, what was the big idea? And the right is, explain the big idea and how it can help your life. So eventually, I have all these things put down into this document in this one page summary. So you could either do it in Evernote, you could do it on one white piece of paper, but the point is at the top, you put one page summary and then you put down the key ideas that you've learned from that book. Now the fourth step is where it turns a lot more practical. Basically, once you've done all the ideas, you have them written down, that's not enough because now you still have more information which doesn't help you change your life. The bottom right, I want you to make a little box and I want you to write down the three habits I can implement right away. So let's say you're reading a book on personal finance and the habits are you need to save 10% of your income, you need to take 1% of your income and reinvest it, and the third one is to get a side hustle or something so you can add to your income. Or let's say you read my book and you realize, hey, in Master of the Day, Alex talks about forget your goals, focus on daily habits and rituals instead, set up a personal system for tracking your daily habits and rituals and coming up with a personal scorecard, and then let's just say you decide to do the weekly review. What worked, what didn't work, what personality traits do I have to improve? So basically you've taken this book, which is a lot of content, it's also not necessarily actionable because in my opinion, most books are not actionable unless we make them that way. And then you've broken it down into the key big ideas and then the three daily rituals. Remember, habits, not ideas. The three habits you can begin implementing in your life. And then 
getting those actually on your schedule. So if you said, hey, I need to save more money, and this personal development book said, I need to save 10% of my income, then tomorrow at 3 p.m., you better put that reminder on your calendar, hey, open up that ING Direct account to automatically withdraw 10% of my income to save. Or make a note, Sunday morning, I'm going to go through the key points in Alex's book. I decided that I need to come up with a personal goal tracking system. And then you decide if you're going to use a journal or Evernote or your calendar or your phone, whatever it is. But it has to be turned into an actual habit. And then you set a time and a place when you're actually going to execute that habit. So I hope this ritual helps. This is really what I do every single day. I'm going through another pretty corny book right now called Ask and It Is Given. I'm trying out a new kind of mindset experiment. And you can see right here in my notes, my little single black dot. And those I'm putting into a little hand journal and also into a little Evernote document where I'm going to review. And I've already broken it down into the three key daily habits or key daily rituals. So that's how you go from consuming content to actually seeing it change your life. Now, before you go, I want you to leave a comment right there below. Let me know for you, what's the trouble? What's the hard part about consuming content like this and then actually implementing it? What's up, guys? I hope that video helped you a lot. Now, the best way to stay in touch is to grab the free seven-day personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. You can also go in the description box there below because I also have the link to the seven-day challenge as well as the emails you will get through there. And otherwise, the best way to stay in touch is to watch this video or that video, and that's going to redirect you to basically all the videos I've made. So otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.